What's up, Nail Geeks? I am continuing on with my catch up posts and spamathon for this week. Uh, once again, reminding you guys, my polish pickup video is up. Definitely go over there and leave a comment so that you can be entered into my giveaway. Now I have Lemming Lacquer's Eldritch Terrors collection, which is her 2021 Halloween set. This is an eight piece set inspired by the chilling adventures of Sabrina. And let's dive right into the swatches. First up is the darkness. This is a rich blue to purple to red multi-chrome and a black jelly base. I would have to say this is my favorite of the set. Of course it's blue, but when you see it built up here in just a moment, uh, this is going to be very intense, vampy, and this glowy sort of sapphire. It's really pretty. At more extreme angles, you can get that purple to a more and more extreme red sort of shift. I think in my opinion, you're gonna dominantly see a blue to purple shift with it. Now I want to apologize at the point that I swatched these, I wanna say three or so weeks ago, maybe two weeks, ago that was when the breaks were really bad and I hadn't filed the hell out of my nails so uh, please forgive the appearance of any bumps that you're seeing it is not the polishes in this video and next is the uninvited this is a forest jelly base with pink to purple to gold to green shifting shimmer and blue to green to gold color shifting flakes so this is very jelly on application, but it does have a strong squish factor to it. I'm gonna strongly suggest going in light on your coats and letting this one slowly build up to three coats. I think that will give you the maximum payoff for flakes and shimmer, and it's also gonna prevent you having over buildup and it just looking a little uneven on the nail. This dries down very flat. So you're going to want to finish with a glossy top coat, or in some cases, I would even say uh, a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat, which uh, I personally find that really flat finishes like this, even for flakes, it doesn't have to have glitter, uh, just glossing them up even further with a glitter smoother, I think works really well for these types of finishes. And the weird is a purple to red to copper to gold multi-chrome with gold holographic sparks and red to orange to gold to green color shifting flakes. So again, this one has more of a heavier sort of feel on the formula and I'm gonna suggest going in light. The flakes are heavier and I think you're gonna get a good idea of that, especially on that first coat there, that they might have a touch of dragging if you go in too heavy handed with your brush. So just be careful of that. Otherwise, it's easy to build up. I think two coats is perfect for this and this is another one that because of the flakes, it dries down incredibly flat. So again, I would suggest going in with a glitter smoother with your glossy top coat just to even everything out and just keep it ultra glossy. And next is the perverse. This is a lemon yellow scattered hollow with blue to green to gold to red and orange and gold to green color shifting flakes. So we've got a uh, Crelly sort of formula. I think this leans more of a jelly in my opinion, but I'm getting that Crelly vibe from it because of how squishy this is. This is one that, again, it's heavy and you want to be cautious about over buildup so things don't look uh, lumpy on your nails. Just go in lightly and you can see on the second coat here, builds up very quickly. I do agree with the official description. This is a lemony sort of yellow, but I am seeing just a touch of an almost chartreuse undertone. And the Cosmic is a dusty black and blue jelly with gold and blue holographic sparks and gold to copper to green multi-chrome magnetic flakes. So this has a rich formula, but it's very smooth on application. I'm going to suggest if you choose to wear this one uh, with a magnet applied, which I think it looks really cool either way. But if you use a magnet and you go ahead and get a design on your nails, the pigment is very, what I consider heavy. It's one of those uh, stronger sort of particle types. So this is one that I would strongly suggest going in for maybe an extra 10 seconds on your magnetizing part. And don't forget to do your top coat too, to help get a really strong design. And next is the return. This is an oxblood holographic with red to copper to gold to green, shifting shimmer and gold holographic sparks. So this one has a smooth, creamy sort of formula to it, very satisfying on the brush strokes. And I think two coats for most is gonna be perfect for it. It's got a really wonderful formula. Overall, I think what's gonna take your eyes attention the most is of course the uh, straight up holographic goodness here, but I think the shimmer is just a touch subtle in person, but those little gold holographic sparks are also what's going to kind of pop against the hollow. 
And the Endless is described as a blue to purple to red multichrome with red to violet to pink to orange to gold color shifting flakes and hollow micro flakes this one also has a very heavy formula to it and uh it definitely i think two coats is perfect for it too again dry down is very very flat and i think it's a little bit different in terms of saying drying down matte because it's not textured per se but it's just so thirsty that the level of flatness, again, I would suggest going in with a glitter smoother with your glossy top coat. And lastly, we have the Void, which is a pink to gold to green magnetic multi-chrome with pink to gold to green color shifting flakes. So this also has that heavier feel, uh, especially on the flakes here. So it's very smooth and metallic like as you apply it. But again, I'm going to suggest adding maybe 10 seconds to each of your magnetic parts in addition to what you'd normally do to ensure that you're getting really good movement as this one is also very heavy on how the pigment feels and how it's moving with the magnet. So this has lots of movement. Uh, the magnetic pigment itself is a really easy shift from uh, pink to gold to green that I think you'll see in just about any lighting. Now these are all currently available through Lemming Lacquer's site. I will link you guys below to Lemming's shop if you want to check that out, as well as the Facebook fan group. I am not done with you guys yet. I still got more to show you guys, including some mega posts. Uh, this fall has been wild. This is one of the busiest falls I think I've had as a swatcher. It's been something else, but I'm here for it. It's gorgeous, lots of pretties, and this is, hey, this is our relaxing time. So uh, let's just kick back, enjoy it, and uh, see some more colors. I will be back soon with more goodies. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.